So we lost 16 players from our last year's squad, but we had a fantastic JV team. They were undefeated. So a lot of other teams thought that we were possibly not going to do so well, but we knew that we had a lot of good quality players coming up to the varsity team. And I think we just had really strong chemistry on and off the field and a lot of talent. I think it just worked out really well. So based off last season's JV team, they went undefeated and they had a very good chemistry with all of them. And I think since most of the JV team became the varsity team this year, the chemistry kind of built with the seniors this year too. Being with them every day in school, seeing them being uh, friends with all of them really made it easier to be part of a tight-knit group and have more chemistry in the field, which helps a lot. Honestly, the team, like our team, just to make it so successful was we all had like that bond that no other, no other sport has. Like we all knew each other, we all knew how we played. Going into the season, I didn't think we would be as good or as successful as last year. I knew we'd be a good team, but I didn't think we would make the states run that we did. I knew, like first game when we played Westfield and we were winning the whole game, I definitely saw that we have something special this year. I think it was Hershey because we went on a trip together for team bonding, but then we came back with a new system and a new plan for going forward. And a few players switched around positions. I know I went to the center back and Max Jose just went into center midfield and I think that just gave us a whole new look and a whole new um, mentality going into games. Uh, I think after the south loss, it was kind of like a gut check for us. Once we, I think once we beat Princeton, I would say that I thought we had a good chance going far in states. Once we got to the win at Princeton, that sort of gave us the confidence we needed going into the MCTs and the state tournaments. Honestly, our defense with Owen and Ben right next to each other, they were, they were good next to each other because Ben was quick and Owen was very technical and calm on the ball. Uh, I'd say our center backs like really uh, coming through and covering for the midfielders and the wide backs like Owen, Ben, even Max when he was back there, they're just really fast and good on the ball and smart in their play and they were able to like clean up everything and we didn't let anything get through. Uh, I like being able to see everything that's going on in the field. I like playing point guard and I like playing center field too for baseball and basketball so I like to see and I like to know what's going on and here everyone kind of meshed well together and seeing the passes connect it was some magical moments that I got to witness from a good viewpoint. Getting to the finals of the uh, sectional uh, finals and even though we lost that game I feel like we played really well and that just kind of shows that like on the last game given the game we put like our heart out on the field and we came out disappointing result, but I think we all played really well. Soccer, it taught me to be tough for all my for all my sports, from soccer, wrestling, even track. I always put in as much effort as I could. So it's great to come out every day and play for a team that loves to win and has like a winning culture. Sunday dinners. Who do you think had the best Sunday dinner? On oh. uh, Food-wise, Dom, they're Italian. Uh, Atmosphere, that's a hard one. Um, I didn't go to Joey's, but I heard that was quite fun. <laughs> we had a lot of good pasta parties. I'm gonna have to go with, with Joey Gary. Pretty special party, pretty good cookies, yeah. I don't wanna take credit for my own pasta party, but from what everybody's been saying, everybody's loved the meatballs and the sausages my aunt made, so they had fun with that. One guy on this team is gonna end up being famous. Who's most likely to be famous and why? It'll be Ben, because he's, he's so creative and he he loves talking to people, meeting new people. And he's so funny, he just gets along with everybody. And he's also, he's a pretty good rapper. <laughs> Probably Max Wills, based on either whatever he ends up inventing or becoming the CFO of whatever company. Probably Fal, because all he does is like he talks a lot. He's, a lot of smack, it's pretty funny though. I think definitely Trey Lorcella because of his sort of exuberant personality. Yeah, I think he's got the mojo to succeed in the uh, Hollywood business. Hmm. I'd go with Dom, mostly because I feel like he would try to get as much attention as possible to do anything. Even if it's him streaking on a football field, it would be him trying to do that.
All right, you have one one word to describe Coach Baylog and one word to describe Coach Gola. Uh, I say, uh, oh man, um, Gola definitely uh, tougher, but I get Baylog sort of like a little bit nicer and uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit more relaxed. <laughs> All right, for Gola, I would say um, strong. And then I would say for Baylog, I would say relaxed. Gola, uh, I guess funny. He's always jokes with everyone, and um, he's always very happy, obviously, because we played well. If, that, if we didn't play well, it might be a different word to describe him, but Baylog, he's very calm. Trip, quiet, because he just doesn't, I never hear him talk really, honestly. <laughs> Baylog, um, uh, composed, he doesn't really yell a lot on the field, and Baylog, I mean, Gola, uh, passionate. If you could pick one guy you'd rather fight, would it be Jared or Owen? Why? Probably Jared, because, I mean, Owen's too nice, and I could probably find a reason to fight Jared. <laughs> probably Owen, because I think Jared will get a little more feistier than Owen, but Owen still's got that fire in him. But something about Jared's dimples, I think, just makes me want to go towards Owen more. They're Burnett brothers. Uh, who's better with the ladies of the two? Um, Jared, I'd say. I mean, Jared get all the girls. I mean, Jared get more girls than anybody on the team. <laughs> Who do your parents love more, you or your brother? I can't. I can't say that. Um, obviously, I think me because uh, I think I'm the favorite. Um, but they'll they'll say otherwise that they love me and Owen equally. I would say Jared because he is a little bit more responsible around the house. He likes to do a little bit more chores, and I think um, he has a little bit better grades. I mean, it's a great program, and you just gotta be committed to the team. Make sure that you're close with your teammates on and off the field. You're one team, you gotta win together, you gotta lose together. As long as you keep the team chemistry solid, I think we have enough players to continue su having successful seasons in the future. Ryan Fowle. Dominic Zangrilli. Max Stella Santos. Ryan Vaquera. Trey Lars Stella. Owen Burnett. Jameson Patrick Ayers. Jared Burnett. Aaron Magababian. Max Wills. I'll say shout out to B Squad. Whatever that is. <laughs>